Nocco never leaves this place. She's always put the living things first. Puri kumbala muma. Andro? Nooks isn't an easy language, but at least it's manageable. She says she is so happy to see you again. She wonders if you remember her. She's Noko. She let you ride her majut when you were a kid. Noko remembers you used to chase around with so much energy and is glad to see you haven't lost any of that spark. Andro? But that's all long gone now, though. Memories show us where we've been, not where we're going. Kala, come on is sure they'll come back on their own once you stop forcing them. Hopefully not to haunt you, though. You've suffered enough already. Noko remembers those days, too, but she never lets herself wallow in them, no matter how tempting that can be. She sees your back to buck with Lupa Lupin. Can't see how there's any way to avoid that now. Not for long, at least. She says the horrors of your younger days were enough to ruin anyone. But not you. You've got all that cheer about you still. Noko says history is like the trail you've been... She wants Lupa Lupin to pay too, even though she strongly believes forgiveness is the strongest revenge. Nothing shines like the dark. Oh, no, wait. Oh, well, you know. You can't trust the dark. Can you see how dark sets you free? It's not too late for you, is it? Hello, darkness. That's me, your old friend. Asks how many paths you've wandered in the world, and if you ever wonder about what might have changed if you'd taken different ones. The choices can be overwhelming, but you have to choose, or you just stay where you are. And what kind of choice is that? So happy the world is going to live, would have been crushed to see all the gnotes die with it. Hates that you didn't care enough about the world to fight for it. Glad you saw the light with the myriad. They always bring a sparkliness to any day, and sometimes... They're just so shiny, makes her smile to think about them. But let's not speak of that now. She hasn't... The Majut will recognize the scent you've attracted while being here, so it'll probably trust you enough to follow you. You should lead the Majut back here when you find it. It's going to take time to get it calm enough to be able to ride out to the World Eater. It's the most magnificent creature she's ever encountered, a creature straight out of a dream or story. You found the Majut Meadow. Watch out for the Majut.
shield your eyes if the daylight hurts you. Now that the Majut is back in the pen, it seems calm, but Nokko is still concerned. She says the Majut is still anxious, but fortunately she knows just the thing it needs to calm down. The Majut once found and ate a bonbon gummy by mistake, and that the chewing really calmed it down. She says that you should find some bonbon gummies for the Majut by the crossway. At least she figures the choosies from the old world are made from gummy trees, but wouldn't be surprised if they were actually made from some chemical concoction, though. A crossway. This means you have a choice to make. Which way? Nothing simple. It's locked. That's a motored blind box dispenser. These auto markets were quite popular in the long gone for those who had coin left for fun. Cranks like these usually need to be wound to operate the dispenser. Just a few moves left. Make them count. What you see is what you get. Once it's out of the blind box, that is. You should flick the switches in order to green light the current and activate the electrons in the panel. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Good. The loop is electrified enough to spark. With its attention diverted to the chewy bonbon gummy, the Majut calms down. But Nokko is still concerned. She's relieved the Majut has calmed down, but you'll need a heavier sit-tight to ride it than the one she's got. The only sit-tight she can think of that would be heavy enough is one she's spotted mounted on an old-world Mecha Majut. If she remembers correctly, she spotted it at the Smilo Shopperia while scavenging for treats for the Gnotes. That's not so far up. Seems to her they preferred the Mechamajuts over the living counterparts in the old world. Maybe the Gnotes were near extinct. Nokko is always willing to help. Says you should take it easy. The Smilo Shopperia. Guess shopping here put a smile on your face. Tap hard.
Night gives you relief from the day. I box that shut and good. Sickening. to line up the switches so they match. Just a few moves left, make them count. enough electric current to initiate the actuators and activate the framework. You'll have to be extra sneaky. Now hold on, sit tight. You need to loosen the bolts without rattling the mechamajut. A few moves left. Make them count. That's it. The sit tight is loose. Time to stop horsing around and get the sit tight back to Noko. Now that the Majut's got a mouthful of Bon Bon Gummy and the brand new sit tight is in place, the Majut is ready to ride. Noko's been training another fantabulous little critter that'll hopefully become a distraction for the hoof puff when you confront it. She's called them glitter moths, and the best way to find them is to go talk to Mito. She's asked him to keep them somewhere safe. You'll find Mito at Brightlight. He's a light-headed fellow, but hopefully he'll remember where he stored the moths. They're small airborne creatures with bright reflective wings and a conspicuous fluttering flight. Mito says he's not only into those who shine bright, he likes things that glitter, too. He reckons you haven't seen a glitter moth, and says it's about time you did. Even though they're nesting near gone grass, they never run out of glow. Finding yourself a glitter moth would give you that glimmer of hope you need to continue all the way to the end. Don't go boiking.
Just hold on tight. The scrap keeps piling up. You can make so many amazing things out of wood scrap. That wood scrap seems like it would be perfect for your plans. Don't distract this beastie. It's working. Seems like a sturdy rope. Stories keep moving whether you drive them or not. Glittermoth Cave is right here.
That's enough glitter moths to make her plan work. Andro? She wants you to stop worrying about the paths you've ridden and focus on the inevitable road ahead, the one that leads to confrontation with the World Eater. The hoof puff is evidence of the duality of evolution, utterly beautiful and grotesque at the same time. She means that the hoof puff has had more time to eat at the root as it's been isolated in the Knoopstonies mountains. So, based on that alone, she reckons it has suffered as much damage as the northwest root that's hidden beneath the surf. The rocky ridges have been called the Knoopstonies around here for as long as she can remember. It's said the stone was grey before, but somehow changed colour over time.
That sealed the fate of the third World Eater. Just one more to go. Out of Date asked to see you again to congratulate you and let you in on the final phases of his plan. This is your chance to get his priorities aligned with yours. Take control of the situation and make sure your goals become his. Just head back to the Ark. He seemed eager to see you again.